Hey guys, what's up? It's Jax, the legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft farm tutorial. And in this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a super simple Minecraft with a, with a skeleton farm. Before we get into, into the tutorial, let's have a look at how this works and why it works. So, let's climb up here. You'll see we're in a little chamber here. We're going to attract a few wither skeletons by running down here. I'm going to run to either ender, which has a killing chamber on it. Now we're going to run up here, and then you'll see once we eventually get up to the top here and get to this um, right here, the wither skeletons will run up onto the hoppers and I can kill them and whack them. This will eventually drop wither, skeleton, wither skulls or just regular drops like coal and bone, but of course you want to try and get those wither skulls. So looting five is ideal, but it's not needed, it just increases your drop rates. As you can see, I've got killed them all. Now I didn't get a wither skull from with a skeleton skull from there because they are incredibly rare. But let's see if we can get one on this next go. So we're going to run up here. Now you can make this farm a little bit longer or even bigger. Now the bigger the better. I've made mine maybe like a medium-ish length. You could make it shorter than this, but it would decrease the um, efficiency as there'd be less chance of mobs down at the other end despawning. Okay, let's go up here. They'll be attracted again. We'll just kill them. We'll get our XP. We get a decent amount of XP. It'll go into the hoppers, all of their drops. Oh, and you can see a sword drop there. Then go into the chests. And then we'll be able to kill them like that. Now again, we didn't get anything there, but we got our swords. So we got our bone and our coal. Now, if I hop into spectator mode. Oh, I've got the slash there. We'll have a look at how this farm is built. So basically, we have our daylight sensors here which are just under a slab's height, so they aren't level with a slab, they're a little bit lower than the slab. Then we have the iron bars, that's just for looks, you don't need them, and then some blocks. Then on each side we have 14 blocks um, sideways of spawning room going all the way down for all the with the skeletons to spawn. Now. As long as we don't jump when, we, when we're on these daylight sensors, only the wither skeletons will be able to see the top of our heads. If we do jump, we will aggravate the other mobs, which is not what we want. Then the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we showed it off before, where we, where we run up to here, they come into the hopper, we kill them, and then they die. Okay, so, now let's get onto the material list. The material list for this, hold on, let me just hop into creative again. The material list for this is going to be listed in a different way than my usual material list. It's going to be listed in a section. So one row of this um, farm. So basically for each length, you're going to, for each row of this farm, you're going to need the materials on your screen now. So if you make this farm 50 blocks long, you're going to need these materials times 50. Then on top of those materials, you're also going to need these materials on the other side of your screen. Now these materials are the two killing chambers at the end. So now that you've got those, let's hop into a world to get building. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find a nether temple looks that looks something like this. Um, the best spots to build these with the farms are nether temples that are over a large body of lava and are not near to anything. But So this is in a very good location as you can see because there's lots of areas for other mobs to spawn. So if I say build a wither skeleton farm here, there's going to be lots of magma cubes spawning on the other side. So it will decrease efficiency. So you want to fly around and have a look for a nether temple that, or not fly around, um, walk around if you're in survival um, and look for a nether temple that has minimal spawning platforms around it. Okay, so I've now found this nether fortress, which is over mostly lava, and if it is over a bit of land, it's over some nether wastelands, which has have lower spawn rates than the other biomes, because there's only one mob that spawns in here, which is the zombified piglins. However, if you do find it in another biome, you can slab the area around your platform. Now your platform, you have to be very careful where you place it. You can't just place it in the middle of nowhere because it has to be inside of the boundaries of your nether fortress. So as you can see, my nether fortress here probably only goes out to about there, but goes down this way for quite a bit. So I can build it from there all the way around there and come back in a big square. But uh, if I go out any further to say here, I'm very likely to be out of the nether boundaries, the nether fortress boundaries. So this will stop the spawning of the wither skeleton. So in your visible site, check your boundaries. So there, 
and plus it and back there. I can make it quite big if I want to. So in regards to the size that you actually want um, clear, most people would be probably okay with between 40 and 70 blocks long, 70 on the higher side. 40 blocks is probably good for most people. You could even have it lower than that. Um, but if you want it bigger, you can have it bigger, but you, and you also can have it smaller. But again, go big with this if you can, because it'll increase spawn rates and make it a lot more efficient. As well as that, you want a reasonable distance between the nether fortress and the roof. As you can see, I've got about 10, 15 blocks here, or maybe 20, not very good at block estimation here. But um, you want a reasonable distance there. And if you want to increase the spawn rates, um, if you want to... Um, Increase the spawn rate, sorry about there was some cockatoos in the background. You um, want to lower down these nether fortresses so they're just at the bottom of the pillar, say like there. So you lower them down to about that height there, all of these. And place slabs all over the land around it if there is any, because that will stop any mob spawning. This isn't necessary. I didn't do the slab ones on my um, farm that I showed you earlier, but I did remove some of the nether fortress pillars. Okay, so now I've gone over where you need to start building this and how you want to start it. Um, we want to grab out some materials. We want to grab out a daylight sensor, an iron bar, a fence, or any sort of block. This is optional just to put it at the bottom. I'm going to use some iron bars because I think it looks nice. And then a block with a solid back. Now, a block with a solid back can be like stone, dirt, a backward stair, but a block without a solid back would be like an anvil. I'll show you what I mean here. A block with a solid back, as you can see, you just walk up to it and it's boxed. And when you place a different type of block next to it, you can just walk straight across. If there wasn't a hole there, you can just walk straight across it like this. Where with an anvil, you can see I get stuck here because it's slightly shorter. Now, what this means is if it's slightly shorter, the wither skeleton will be able to hit you and kill you. And that is not what you want. So you want to use a block like andesite, netherite, um, netherite, oh my goodness, granite. Um, or even a stair like this. I've seen a few people use the stairs like this to add, make it a bit more spacious, so you have a bit of space there. Now, to start building this, we want to come down to the ground and build up a few blocks. Now, we want to build up a few blocks, so we're just going over the um, nether fortress, or the things over the nether fortress, so that's about right. But we don't want to be up too high where we're going to have issues colliding with the nether roof. Now, if you're digging down these nether fortresses, it will be a lot easier because you won't have to build up as high. But if you're not like I'm not right now, um, uh, you will have to go up a reasonable height. Now that you've done that, you want to place a block on top of that and come 15 blocks across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Place three different types of blocks like this and count another 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, this has to be out of netherite, not netherite, nether brick, because nether bricks um, are the only block where the skeletons will spawn on. Okay, now that we've got that, we want to place a daylight detector in the middle, or daylight sensor, in the middle right here. Then we want to place an iron bar, or the, your, the block of your choice on each side. This is optional, you don't need this. Um, and then you want to place a block on top, like say, a backward stair, or some nether bricks like this. But you don't need these iron bars, you can have it floating just like this, but it makes you feel a little bit safer when you've got it there, even though it doesn't do anything. Now come to either side, and you want to come three blocks up with any sort of um, sort of casing block. This can be just a regular wall, some fences, some glass, um, but I'm going to use iron bars. And then place a block on top. Now, these are essentially going to be your walls. You, there's two ways of doing these, um, the, the roof on top of these walls. The first one is putting a, block, a full block like this and then a piece of carpet on top, like say red carpet on top to stop mob spawning. But the other way is much simpler. You just use a, some smooth slabs, which is the way I'm going to be doing it, and place it on the bottom half and then just go straight across like that. Now that you've done this, you want to duplicate this for as long as you want. Um, I'm going to duplicate mine for about 40 blocks, and then we'll see what, where we're at there. Okay, so I've now got this built out, and it's 40 blocks long, and you can see it's a decent length, and I've already got some wither skeleton spawning. Now we need to add in the two things on both sides. So to do this, we want to grab out some hoppers, some chests, some iron bars or end rods, some, or some fences, um, so I'm going to use some end rods, some slabs, oh, and some stairs, of course, some stairs, and some uh, some sort of block. I'm going to use some stone brick. 
or yeah, stone bricks. So we're going to start by placing a double chest by this um, daylight sensor like this, placing our hopper onto the front portion of that, placing two more hoppers going into that on the side, making a staircase leading up to these hoppers, filling in the block underneath them like that. This is some fully symmetrical, remember that. That. Then we're going to be placed, breaking these three blocks directly above the stairs. Two, three. The one block there and there. Placing an end rod there and there. An end rod right there. Then surrounding this with blocks. Oop, I broke that. Surrounding this with blocks like this. And then oop, moving this place out of the way. We're going to be raising this up one more. And then if then, if you want, you can extend the spawning chamber out further for more spawn rates, or you can um, finish it off here and just put the wall across like that. Those are your two options. I'm going to be doing it this way, but the other way is just to extend this out and then curve it around like so. As you can see, just do something like that. Those are the two options. Um, either one works. And I, when I with my testing, I really didn't notice too much of a spawning rate increase. So if you're running short on materials, just do it this way. Placing slabs on this here like that. Um, and then we're going to do that on this side as well. So we're going to do um, replicate this on this side. So remember, all of this is symmetrical. So one thing I tell you to do on one side, do it on the other. Uh, with the skeleton walked up there. Same with the blaze. straight across like this over this little portion here okay now that we've got this we want to make an area so the gas can't shoot you when you're standing here so we're going to come up one slab over on top of both of these to make it a full block then come up another full block so that's two slabs on top of this like so and then we're going to replicate that on this side and then just place a slab roof on top like this Okay, so I've put the full slab roof on. Now we have got a full few blocks here, so we want to grab out some buttons or carpet and place the buttons on every single one of these full blocks. Just like that. Now that we've done that, let's go and replicate this on the other side. Okay, so I've done this on both sides now, and you'll probably notice that you're now stuck on top of the roof. Well, the way to get into this, you want to first get out some ladders and some trapdoors, some blocks, now, if you get, if my suggestion is for these blocks, I would suggest getting out some sand. It'll make it easy. You'll probably be asking me why, but sand or some sort of block that can fall, so concrete powder or anything like that. Find the center, which should be in line with this, and dig straight down. Then place the slab back up. Find a spot where you want to put a ladder or a way to get up. Break that. Place a trapdoor on the side of this iron door, trap iron um, bar. So when you flick it up like this. Then, with the sand or falling block that you've got, break the block directly behind or in front of the trapdoor and start dropping the sand down. Now, this it does take a little bit of time, but it is the safest way to do this. Now, you can use sand or concrete powder. Concrete powder might look better, so you could use, say, black concrete powder instead. Either works, but you just want to slowly drop this down, as you can see. And then eventually, it'll reach the top. Now that it's at the top, we want to go slowly down and place the ladders now. You can do this is a pretty risky way of doing it. You got to just hold down your click and just and when you fall, place the ladder. Just hold it down, fall, place the ladder and hold W. Fall, place the ladder, hold W. Now you can you have a fire resistance potion. It will make it a bit safer. And you don't have to go all the way to the bottom. Just to a spot where you can place another block to make a bottom platform like this. Um, and so you can walk up and go into an area where your nether portal is. Now the other way of doing this, which is probably slightly safer, um, but pro slight, more sli slightly more annoying, is to grab it to at the top. You walk out to the side, you fall down somewhere to somewhere safe. You eventually work your way along to somewhere underneath this andesite part, say here. Then you just go straight up and build a ladder like that way. Either way works. I find this to be the fastest. But if you are newer to Minecraft or don't feel as comfortable with your reflexes, I suggest doing it the other way with just taking your time with some scaffolding and some blocks building up. But remember, any blocks that are full around here, if you want to increase spawn rates, grab some carpet um, or some slabs and place slabs like this. Especially, um, especially blocks around, say, blaze spawners or anywhere like that. But other than that, 
We now have a fully working with a skeleton farm and you can see we have got some spawn rates but they are low because of all the areas around where mobs can spawn. So I'm going to go do a little bit of digging and I'll get back to you once I've dug out this area so there's less spawn rates. So when I said I was doing a little bit of digging, I was actually doing a lot of digging and as you can see all of this is dug out now. We have less spawn rates. We only have those few mobs over there that have spawned. Those won't really affect us. So if I now go up here, we should have more mobs spawning. And we do. We have lots of wither skeletons spawning. So if I hop in, grab out my sword, hop into survival. And walk along here, you'll see the wither skeletons start running across. Now I've got a blaze here. The blazes, when they are up on little areas like that, they will be able to shoot you. But the chances of them getting up to those areas is low. As you can see, I just broke my end rod, whoops. But, once I've killed all of these um, with the skeletons, I'll be able to place my end rod back. In this place. But, that's the only downside of using an end rod. They do let off a bit of light, however, you can break them a bit easier. I'll still tend to use end rods, but I just have to be a bit more careful. But as you can see, we have still got other with the skeletons spawning down here. Now, when running across, close this trapdoor so you don't go falling down because that would be crazy okay so now you guys know how to build a super simple and super efficient with a skeleton farm so that's going to be the end of this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like comment and remember to subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys later and remember stay carbonated